Hi, I'm a first year student here at NMIT. I'm studying voice and I was just recently lucky enough to attend a vocal workshop with Frankie Armstrong. Frankie's been teaching voice since the 1970s and she really has a passion for traditional singing uh, from the British Isles all the way to um, cultures of Africa. And you can really see her influence of um, being a social worker and youth worker. So uh, within the workshop we uh, were in a group environment and we actually went through Frankie different ways of enhancing our voice through warm-up techniques and, um, and working on a voice-body connection. And we did that by participating in, um, in harmonies and group rounds. So we also found that voice-body connection but also connected with each other. It's called Well Tuned Women, so it's basically a perspective of um, from different uh, female vocal teachers on voice technique, and um, and also she um, she has available a CD, which I mean is useful for a singer just to go through warm ups, loosen up the body, and um, and be in a centered position before they perform. So I really think that's a valuable tool to have, and they're both available on on Amazon. So I'd highly recommend that. Well, I've really um, come from a folky acoustic background, but since I've started studying here at NMIT, I've had many different influences and really see myself um, heading into an R&B kind of uh, blues background. And it's amazing what you can learn from fellow mus musicians around you. Well, it was basically just um, the the environment that Frankie created for a vocalist. I mean, we're, we're always put in, in environments that kind of, you know, are quite critical of, of a singer and, and focus on being perfect all the time. But Frankie just mentioned that we have to be befriend our voice and really, you know, even if we do make a mistake or our tonal qualities aren't exactly what we're hoping for, just to nurture that and always come back to the expression that you're trying to create through the song that you're singing and really connect to that. Uh, well, Frankie just creates a very comfortable environment and accentuates the voice is accessible to every person and it's one of the most important tools that we have as a human being to express human emotion. It's just a very open environment that she sets. So anyone from no matter what background can walk into one of her workshops and be expressive and not be judged on where they're at. More so their engagement in their happiness and, and um, enjoyment of voice. Well, usually um, the vocal teachers that I've had have been very stringent and controlling on every sound that you're producing as a vocalist, right down to consonant and vowel sounds. And there's a quality of professionalism that can benefit from that, but Working with Frankie, she's completely opposite. She really um, accentuates the point that we have to free up our voices and connect with the expressive side of us rather than focus on the technique all the time. And when we're in that, when we're in that zone of expressiveness, then we can really connect with ourselves and others. I'd really like to thank the Bwat for allowing this opportunity. They are an integral part of uh, allowing different musicians from diverse cultural backgrounds to perform in Melbourne and they're always very generous with their time and, and opportunities to students here at NMIT, so thank you.